Hey guys, so I kind of wanted to update my video of how to tag your music library automatically. Uh, I've learned a little bit more about Music Brains Picard, and I kind of want to give you a more advanced look at how you can have more control over tagging as you're going through the process. And also, I wanted to include in this video how you tag genre because that was a there was a lot of comments of people asking how you can tag the genre along with all the other tags and information that you're adding. Okay, so if you've watched the last video, some of this is going to be basically a review, but I definitely recommend you watch this because you're going to have a better understanding of how to use Music Brains Picard. So the first thing is we want to set up some options in here. Uh, I like to set rename files, move files, save tags, and then head right here into the options. And the first thing we want to do is in the last videos, I told you to tick automatically scan all new files. And this time we're not going to do that. We can use some of the tag information that's already on the files. So this time make sure that automatically scan all new files is unticked. The next thing we want to do is in the file naming again, you can set up your file naming however you want it. For me, I've chosen, and I'll put this in the description of the video, to rename my files uh, right here so that they're in an artist folder, a year folder, an album title folder, and then the file itself is named artist-title. So you can see down here what that would look like. The Beatles. The actual date, we're actually going to add a little script that changes this just to the year of the album, and then the album name and the title of the track. So, like I said, to change the date to just the uh, year, we have to add a script here. We'll just call this change date to year only, and I'll put this code into the uh, description of the video again, and you can just paste it right in there, and then just click make it so. People are wondering how you can tag your albums, tag your music with a genre. So I want to show you guys how you can add a genre to your tags in Music Brains Picard. Uh, so to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to use a plugin. It's called uh, PicardLastFM.ng plugin. So you just come to this website here. I'll put the link in the description and it'll give you instructions here if you need this to be written out, if you need to look at it and read it. Uh, it'll be here for you to read, but basically you just go to the releases page. I'm going to use this one, the source code, the .zip one. I've already got it here, and I'm going to show you quickly. This is the plugins folder for Music Brains Picard right here. And if you, I'm going to open up Music Brains now, and quickly, so if you want to get to that folder, you just click on options. You just go to plugins right here. You're going to want to drop your uh, .zip file in here. And then actually inside of the zip file, there is a folder right here. Uh, and this right here is the folder you want to drop in here. As you can see, I've already dropped it in my plugins folder. Uh, drag that out of the .zip and bring it right into the plugins folder. Then you're going to want to go ahead and restart Music Brains Picard. And that is going to make it so that when you come back into the Music Brains Options plugins, you'll see that the plugin is right here and it is installed. And the next thing that we have to do, and this is very important, what you have to do is you have to come to the metadata option here and tick this right here. And then that is going to now tell Music Brains where to put the genre tag and how to make it happen. Oh, and one more thing I want to do here in the files category is I'm going to tick move files when saving and I selected a new folder to move all my files into. That's up to you. You can choose to do that or not. You can choose to have them renamed and retagged in place. I just like to have them move to a new folder so that I can track the changes and just see more clearly what's going on. And then just click make it so. And then the next thing I'm gonna do here is we have a giant folder filled with unorganized music and in the last video, I kind of just garbled up some tracks and messed up the tags and everything and then threw them in there. A real music library might look something more like this where things are kind of organized and already have some tag information in them. But maybe you want these organized into album and date folders or you want to organize them in different various ways. You want to make sure the tags are all correct. You want to rename the files so that you can easily see what the title and the artist of the track are. Whatever the reason is, this is going to make it really easy to do it. I'm just going to grab all these tracks right here. I'm going to drop them here on the left side. 
so what we can see here is what's happening is is Music Brains actually found one of our albums already and just automatically took it because it has a Music Brains ID already, so it knows what this album is. It's already tagged correctly, and it put it over here for us to save later if we want to change the tags or anything. With all these unmatched files, the first thing we want to do is we want to click Cluster. And what that's going to do is basically put all these files into kind of a folder organized manner. As you can see, it's taken all the tracks that are just in the unorganized music folder and it can't really make a match for. It's put them into this unorganized music folder. And then the rest, it's tried to use the tags to cluster them into different uh, categories by album and by artist. So that's first how you start organizing in Music Brains. Now, the next thing we want to do is make sure you have the clusters highlighted. Click on the lookup button right here. And what that's going to do is that's going to go out and compare the already existing tag information to the online database that they have to see if it can find the matching album information. I just want to show you quickly what has happened here. So what's happened is Music Brains has taken all of our clusters when we click look up and now it's put them all on the right side here and it's finding all the album information for the based on the existing tags and information that it can find. We can see over here that there's still some music that it couldn't find. Alright, so Music Brains has gone out and it has found all the information based on the existing tags. Everything on the left is the original tag value and then everything on the right is what it's going to add to the tags when you select all and click save. So you can see that it's added the genre and a bunch of other information here to the, uh, to the tags of the album. So the next thing we want to do to get the rest of our files organized, and this is a third and most advanced way that Music Brains Picard finds the tag information for your file. It basically takes all of the waveforms for each MP3 for each song, and it compares the waveform. It's called a digit. It's called a fingerprint, and it compares it to their database of waveforms, and it tries to find the tag information that way. So that's what we're going to do right here. We're going to select the clusters folder with the rest of our tracks. We're going to click on scan and we'll see that it is finding our tracks right here and it is putting them over here into the other side and organizing them for us as it finds them. They're, they're moving from the left side to the right side and the right side is basically everything that Music Brains has found. Okay, so we can see here that Music Brains has found almost all of our music, with the exception of these couple tracks. But since it's already in a folder that basically gives us the album and the artist, what we can do is find the artist over here, which is David Bowie. And The Rise and Fall of Ziggy is the album. And we can just drag that and put it right in there. So now it knows. And same with this Public Enemy album right here. It takes a nation of millions. We know that these tracks belong in there. So we can put it into there. And now we've got our entire library ready to be renamed and ready to be moved into the organized music folder. And we can see that the tracks have their genre and all these other tags ready to go. Here's the original value again, and here's what the new value will be once we select all over here and click save. Just a quick reminder, we've ticked rename files, we've clicked move files, we've ticked save files, and under file naming, we've ticked move files when saving and put them into a new folder, and we've changed name files like this to name the files how we want them. So double check that everything is how you want it and back up your music library before you do this so that if you do make a mistake, you can go back and redo everything if you have to. So with that said, I'm gonna click on save and Music Brains is gonna go and it is gonna start renaming and moving all my files into my selected folder, which we have here. You can see that it's building our organized music folder with the uh, artist, the year of the album, the album name and then the tracks are all named with the artist dash the title 
and then we can see that all of the uh, mp3 tag information is correctly labeled and that is the power of music brains that's what this program does and it's an amazing little program and you can easily tag and rename a massive massive library of music all right guys that's all i got for you if you like this video find me on facebook it's just facebook.com backslash my tech adventures find me on twitter and i will see you next time